Hi, I'm Gideon, and today we're installing a CentOS 8 server as a virtual machine within a Huawei Fusion Compute environment. So we'll probably be done in a few minutes, It'll take less than 10 minutes, and let's see how easy it is and how simple this Huawei Fusion Compute environment really is. So here's a Fusion Compute <coughs> logon page. Uh, going with a username and a password. One thing I do miss uh, is a dark mode. On the left hand side we select the uh, resource uh, pools. We select on creating a VM. And when we create a VM there are lots of different options, lots of different ways to create a VM. We're going to create a VM just from a normal uh, ISO image. So we give the VM a name. We select where we're actually going to install the VM on what uh, physical machine. So in this case CNA03. Then we select the operating system we're going to install. Now what this operating system does, it actually helps to uh, select uh, sort of a minimal specification about hardware about what you are installing, how much memory, how much CPU, etc. you should, uh, or the system should provision for you. Um, all of these settings can actually be overridden. <clears throat> so after that we just select the first hard drive and that hard drive we select the data store from where that hard drive uh, is going to be provisioned. Let's add another device. In this case let's add, add an additional disk, a second disk. Um, first thing we do is we select from which data store we're going to provision this disk. Always a good idea to have your op well to have a strategy, either all your machines all in a single data store, certain class of machines. Uh, alternatively, separate your operating system and your data into different data stores. Here are some of the options. Let's reduce the size of this disk. I think let's make it 12 gig. Um, all the thin provisioning components are here as well. Um, in terms of disk. Let's give it four CPUs and maybe a little bit more memory. Now all this virtualized, virtualized hardware gets provisioned from the physical um, underlying hardware. Um, all the checks are also in place to make sure that the machine you provision to has access to the specific data stores. Um, and as soon as we submit the task, this task goes into the Fusion Compute platform. Um, where we can go view the tasks. Selecting the host, in this case CNO3, where we're going to install it, will show all the running VMs. And there we can see our VM is starting up and busy being provisioned at the moment by the Fusion Compute Platform hypervisor. <clears throat> so as soon as that is complete, there we go, the server will now automatically start up. Now to access servers remotely from Fusion Compute, we click the logon using VNC. Um, shows no bootable device because we haven't actually pointed an ISO image at it uh, that it knows what to boot with. So we select the host, go to configuration, CD-ROM. Now we can mount CD-ROMs in a number of ways. We can mount them from a file, from a local um, uh, CD-ROM drive. Um, in this case we're going to mount it from an ISO file inside of a data store. So we select the data store where the file exists, there we select the CentOS 8.2 ISO image. And say so, OK, it gets submitted to the hypervisor. The hypervisor now mounts the CD-ROM onto the new machine, physical machine that we've just built, or the virtual machine that we've just put together. Select the Alt, Control, Delete, and the machine reboots. Um, and there we can now see uh, the CentOS boot screen select install CentOS. So this was quite nice. Um, quickly created the hardware. The hardware took one minute to create. Um, and uh, mounted a CD-ROM drive and then selected we're going to boot the machine. Um, as the machine then comes up, it will then present us with the CentOS install screen. And we will follow a simple uh, installation from CD. Now normally you wouldn't install machines in a production environment directly from CD unless you feel like doing the complete build. And all the, so normally what you do is you build a single machine, 
install all the supporting software, maybe some firewall configurations, maybe some uh, security software, etc. Um, some automation software, and then template the machine. Once you've got a template, you can just go and create a virtual machine from the template. But in this case, we're installing from CD and creating potentially our first template. So we go going over here, select the installation directory. There's our two hard drives, our 40 gig drive and our 12 gig drive. So 12 gig, let's call it our data drive. Select what to install on the 40 gig disk. Click done. And let's actually not install a complete operating system. Let's just install the minimal uh, install. It's normally a good idea um, to use these minimal installs if you've got some custom application you want to install. And you can put all your prerequisites as you require and make sure that your image is not too big. So here's a network provisioning. Um, straightforward CentOS installation. Let's give the server a name. Often that, that will be assigned automatically through DHCP onto the server. But for now, this is more about the installation using the hypervisor than what it is actually on a CentOS installation. So the installation will now progress. So let's quickly think of what we've done. We've created the hardware. We mounted the CD-ROM. We booted the machine using the CD image. We follow the normal install instructions. There is no difference about installing an operating system on top of a virtualization platform, in this case, uh, uh, Fusion Compute, than what it is installing a, um, a machine on physical hardware. The advantage of virtualization, obviously, uh, you don't have to rack and stack a server. You don't have to plug in the cables on the server. You don't have to set up the RAID configurations, because all of that would have already been done by the hypervisor and the server running the hypervisor. So it's much quicker to go and provision a virtual machines in this virtualization environment. And what I'm really showing you here is how simple it is to provision a machine using Fusion Compute. Um, the process is very, very similar um, using VMware or any other hypervisor environment. But in this case, if you, just showing you Fusion Compute, super simple, actually works, and can work within a proper production environment. Um, this is really enterprise grade software. So let's log on here. Let's have a look at a bit of utilization. And there we can see some utilization around 60 odd uh, or 0 0.6 on the load averages right now. And there we can actually see uh, the performance graphs through the Fusion Compute uh, UI. So that's how easy it is to actually create a new virtual machine within a Huawei Fusion Compute environment. Very similar to other virtualization platforms, but it works and really simple. The front end is quite nice and um, the only thing I'm missing is a dark mode. <laughs>